Hey, what's up, everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right. So I tried something new today. I got me a chicken club from uh, Chick-fil-A because I realized, and I don't think I've ever been to Chick-fil-A in my adult life. I might have went once when I was like a young person with my mom. And we walked in there and got like some chicken breast. Like this was back when Chick-fil-A probably first opened. But I hadn't been there. But I wasn't anticipating this how expensive it is. <laughs> A chicken sandwich by itself was like $11. So that was a one and done type of thing right there. I won't be doing that again. And I liked the sandwich. It was okay. I would have loved to have told them if I know again to uh, possibly warm the bread or crisp the bread a little bit. But it tastes pretty good. Um, but it's entirely too expensive for what they were giving you. The portions is not worth it. Not even close. That was more like a $6 burger <laughs> to be honest six dollar sandwich rather but uh yeah man i just wanted to try it i see how it went and uh the only regret i have is actually handing them the money for it but it tastes pretty good it was okay i thought the bread was a little like i said it could have been toasted i don't think the breast with bread was all that fresh to be honest with you i ain't gonna say it was stale but it was it was definitely on the on the past stale so definitely not something i would encourage people to do don't do what i just did but the reality is I've been cutting back on my portions in the morning of oatmeal because I've been eating too much. And I think I scaled back a little too much and found myself very hungry just now. So I was expecting to spend about $10, but not just on a damn sandwich. I thought I would get fries and a soda, but the fries and the soda type thing. Not that I drink sodas anyway, but like fries at least. Nah, not for them prices. They want like $17 for a, a, a combo. So that's never going to happen. <laughs> not here. So... Yeah, man, just wasn't prepared for them prices at Chick-fil-A. They got their own, they're doing their own thing over here. I don't know what the hell makes them think it should be that expensive. But, uh, it is. So, for what it's worth, I did enjoy the sandwich for the most part. I give it like a seven, you know. So, yeah, that's, that's what I just did, man. I walked down to the Chick-fil-A that used to be a Carl's Jr., I believe it was. I think that's what that used to be pretty damn certain that used to be a Carl's and then they turned it into another type of joint that I don't remember exactly what it was but I used to go there yeah it was a Carl's Jr. and then they turned it into something else but I don't I don't honestly remember what they turned it into back in like the late 90s early 2000s I'm not really sure but um yeah it's a, it's a Chick-fil-a now and you know, it was cool. I mean, I think you're paying more so because you're in Hollywood. I don't really know that other Chick-fil-A's are that expensive. Maybe they are, but I just wanted to see what their food was like. And I was hoping they would give me something that would fill me up. But if I'm being completely honest with you, I could have ate two of those. I really could have. But, uh, you know, it's what it is, man. Uh, it's what? What time is it? 2.15. So I'll probably just head back home and do my little routine you know that that was my outing for the day i just came to hollywood and basically tried chick-fil-a that was really all that is going to be honestly i didn't have nothing else going on but uh, i did want to get out the house and of course i left you guys a therapy not i think a therapy session earlier and uh because it ran so long i only have like 11 minutes to speak here so i cut this one in half and catch you on the other side of town video 44 thank you for watching